Okay folks, I'm going to have a variation on a very effective fly called the Ballina Grey Shrimp. The hook I have on the vase is a size 10 Partridge Patriot Double. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 80 in black. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. Knock on a few turns and remove the waist tag of the thread. Now, the tag on the fly is going to be an oval gold tinsel and small so I'm just going to offer this underneath the hook come around with a couple of turns bring it underneath the hook and then just run the thread down tying this in and I'm just going to bring the thread down until I'm slightly past the point of the hook and then I'm just going to come around with four turns of the oval gold tinsel to create the tag and on the fifth turn bring it up and in between the, the two hooks I'm going to come around with a turn to hold couple of turns to secure that in and then come in and trim away the excess of the oval gold tinsel. Now the tail on the fly is going to be a dyed red golden pheasant breast feather and I've already removed the rubbish from the bottom. So I'm just going to come in hold it by the tip to stroke the fibers back to reveal the tip then just offer the tip just take that wee fiber up that's broke so just offer the tip and the feather up to the hook run with a couple of turns to secure fold back the tip a couple of turns back over and then I'll come in and just trim away the excess of the tip then all I'm looking to do is just stroke the fibers back on the stem and just do one turn in front of the other now I'm going to use this this whole wee feather up but don't worry if the fibers twist on you just keep the feather going around the hook one turn just make sure your turns are in front of the, the other and they're not overlapping now keep a hold of your stem just going to bring my thread back into position to there keeping a hold of the stem just fly it around with the thread one turn in the hold a couple of turns to secure now you want to try and keep the body as level as possible so the body's floss and we don't any, want any um lumps and bumps so I'm just trying to keep the stem on my side of the hook to there now keeping the thread tight just come in and break away the stem then I'll come in with my brush and just brush out any of the fibers that I've caught while it was winding around the, the feather so that's okay looks not too bad now just going to come in with another length of the oval gold tinsel going to tie it in underneath again so go back down a couple of turns bring the oval gold underneath the hook keep your thread turns nice and neat and bring them down tied up against the tail now on the traditional or on the original pattern sorry it's actually orange floss that's used at this point but I'm just going to use the hot orange floss just a uni floss so I'm just going to take a length of this off, just trim it away from the spool, and offer it up to the hook, just come around with a loose turn, just pull it into the length of the body, and then just take your turns of thread up, tying this in to there, and then just simply bring up your uni floss now, just want to get a nice tight turn onto the tail, nice and straight. And then just one turn slightly overlapping the other up the body to there now just follow it across with your thread and a couple of turns just to secure that in and then you can come in and trim away the the floss a pair of scissors needed scanny i think so next part bring up a rib so just bring up a robust gold tinsel. Three turns on the body, plenty to there. Follow it across with your thread. One turn to hold. A couple of turns to secure. And then come in and just trim away the, the excess of the oval gold tinsel. Now the mid haggle. The mid haggle can either be white, which just says a white cock haggle, or it can be a cream. 
cock haggle. So I'm just going to use the weight, so I'm just going to stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip after this up to the hook. A couple of turns to catch in your tip. Fold your tip back and take your turns of thread back up over the tip and the haggle. Okay, then just come in, locate your tip, break it away. Now, I just like to come in with my scissors and just stroke the fibers back. It just helps the process of getting them to fold back nicely for you. And then I'm just going to come around with the turns of the haggle. Now, the turns of the haggle are usually dictated by the fibre that's on the feather. So I'm just going to come around. That's two. Now I'm going to put another one in. There. Now that's plenty for me. So I'm just going to come around. Hold the haggle there. Follow it around with the thread. A couple of nice tight turns now. You need to try and keep this part of the body as level as possible. I'm just going to come in and trim the, the haggle away. Usually I break it. But I'm just going to come in and trim it away on this occasion. Yeah. Work the thread on up to there. Now we're not looking too bad. So I'm going to come in with another length of oval gold tinsel. On the original pattern, it's oval copper tinsel that's used. But I'm just using the oval gold here. So I've caught in my tinsel underneath. I'm just going to bring my thread down tight up against the mid haggle. Now there's a wee favour there. I'm just going to come in and just remove it. Now, you can use blue floss and on this occasion for the front body I'm going to use the, the royal blue uni floss. So I'm just going to come in take a length off, trim it away from the spool. Looks like I did with the rear body. I'm just going to come around with a turn, put it into the length of the body and then just Run my thread up, tying in the floss, and then just like the rear body, just bring your floss round, nice and tight, up against your mid haggle, nice and tight with the floss turns, then just one turn, slightly overlapping the other, up to there, keeping a the hold of the floss, flying around with your thread, one turn to hold, a couple of turns to secure, and then come in with your scissors. And just trim away the excess of the floss. At this stage, just going to come up with three turns of the oval gold tinsel again. To there, keeping the tinsel up, following around with your thread, one turn to hold, a couple of turns to secure, and then you can come in and trim away. Right, the front haggle is a badger, a badger haggle, badger cock haggle. So just come in again, stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. After this up to the hook, one turn to hold, another turn to secure. Fold back the tip, a couple of turns back over the tip and the hackle. There, come in, locate your tip, break it away. Come in with your scissors and just stroke back the, the fibres on the stem. Then the turns of haggle are up to you. So that's one full turn. Now, this is a good feather, so I'm going to put in two. So it's the second turn there. Now, that's plenty for me, so I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to follow it around with my thread. Nice and tight. A couple of nice tight turns. And now, just let me check. Yep, so I'm going to take another one on down and I'm going to fold the stem back. The stem's thin enough and I can fold it back. I'm just going to come in and fold everything back. Bring my thread down to the eye and back up again over the stem. And I'm taking nice tur tight turns of thread here. Being nice and tight with the thread. Keeping the thread tight and come in and break away the stem with the haggle. Now, that's basically the fly finished. You don't need the odd jungle cock, but I'm going to add some jungle cock in. So I've got two eyes here, and some there. Just going to hold them. Just clear the stems a wee bit. 
just to get a tannin point. And just going to offer these up to the the hook. Start for them up, and then just come in and just fold them down on the sides. Now, see at this point, just come around with loose turns. Don't need to be tight. You need to make sure that these are level. I'm just going to come in and check. Now, this one on my side is just a wee bit long, so I'm just going to put it in the length and then check again. Just another wee tiny, tiny bit. Okay, now let me check again. Nope, just another bit. Don't secure these in until you're happy. Because if you secure in your jungle cap, you'll not you'll not face the fly if it's not sitting right. So I'm happy enough with that now. So I'm just gonna come in, hold the jungle cap, take tight turns of thread. Just heading down to the eye. Right, I'm going to fold back the stems, nice and tight, put them all back, bring my thread to the eye, and then just build my, my head up from the front. Right, see if you can do this, and you can get into the habit of doing this, it'll make for a far stronger fly. And it means the jungle cat, they have to they pull out, they can't, they can't break off. So I'm just creating my head at this point nice and tight turns of the thread now keeping my thread tight I'm just going to come in and break away the stems of the jungle cut still keeping my thread tight not letting it go just going to come in with my whip finishing tool and just doing a whip finish pull the thread up nice and tight come in trim away the thread now the first just to seal the head up, the first coat is going to be super glue. So I'm just going to come in with a wee dab of super glue. Just onto the head. Nowhere else. Just onto the head. Don't want to get into your you don't want to get into your haggles. And there you go. So that's just a, a variant on the balana shrimp. Um well and that grey shrimp uh, now give the fly a wee go especially if you fish or you're thinking about heading to the moi this is a good fly to fish um, on the lower tidal stretches um, and on the ridge pool so look, give the fly a wee go and hopefully it can catch you a few fish